Hey YouTube, what's up? Pipe Noob here. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer video today. Uh, I've got um, a couple of different things that I'm going to do today. Uh, I will tell you right at the very start, I'm going to do a giveaway. It's probably not that big of a deal, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, details uh, for the giveaway will be later on in, the, in today's video. Uh, but my primary thing that I want to go over today is the uh, I'm going to do a box opening. I haven't done a box opening yet, so I'm going to do a box opening today. Um, as I've mentioned a couple times in the past, I'm a member, proud member of the Corn Cob Nation, and y'all know I love my cob pipes. Um, so we finally got our cob of the year. It's uh, it's August. We finally got our cob of the year for this year. Uh, you guys have seen my cob of the year from last year. It's kind of I call it the cob warden. Um, well, this year uh, uh, it finally came out in August. And uh, I ordered it right away and got it in. I haven't opened the box, so I'm going to do it here and uh, share it with y'all. So, getting right down to business. So here's the box. Here's my Open L. Open L meat box. Box meat Open L. Okay, got lots of packing peanuts in here. Oh, my little fat dog is over there eating eating pigs again. Good lord. No wonder he's so damn fat. All right, so let's see. All right, here it is. Okay, just a second, I'll pull it out of there. I got an invoice in here, make sure it doesn't have anything on the invoice I need. Now, they uh, they were sold through a special link as part of the Corn Cob Nation. You had to be in the Corn Cob Nation to, to get the link, and they're sold through, made for us, and sold through Missouri Meerschaum. So, Yep, here it is, Corn Cob Nation 2008 Cob of the Year. All right, let's see what we got. Been waiting all year for this. <laughs> Check this bad boy out. Okay, that's a general bowl. That bowl is huge, huge. And there it says Nation Pipe 2018. On this side, it says Cobb Strong, and that is actually, that's not inked on. Last year it was inked on, um, and it kind of wears off. Uh, this year, it's actually laser engraved in there. So it looks like it's got kind of like a, a Canadian type stem, a long stem, a little short bit. I'm not too keen on the actual bit color. It, it reminds me of lipstick, but um, it's okay. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to bitch about it. I'm just happy to get the damn pipe. I was happy it wasn't a radiator this year. You know, there's a lot of talk about radiators and calabashes, reverse calabashes and all that. And I, I can't stand either pipe style. So I'm really, really thankful this something like this. Man, this has got some heft to it. This feels good in the hand. A little bit big for clinching. All right. All right. How's it look? All right. Let's see how it's constructed. There's a little tiny bit of a gap on the bit. I don't know if you can see this or not. Right, th right there. Little tiny bit of a gap, but it's not anything major. And I'm sure not going to complain about it. It's got a brass ring right here. And I like it. I like it. Oh, it's got... Oh, this is cool. It's got... Corn Cob Nation laser engraved on the bottom instead of their normal Missouri Meerschaum label. And then it says MMXII. Okay, that must be Roman numerals for 2018. All right. Corn Cob Nation. There it is. There's the Nation pipe. Now we were supposed to get some, they warned us that we'd get some extra goodies with it. So I'm probably going to spoil the surprise for everybody. Let's see what the goodies are. Looks like stickers. Looks like these are gonna go on my laptop. I'm the only, the only tech geek in the world probably with corn cob pipe stickers on my laptop instead of like tech stickers. There you go, corn cob nation and cob strong. I already had a couple of these, but more are always welcome. Well, uh, thank you, corn cob nation. I actually like the pipe. Um, the the lady that runs the group, the queen, as she's called, um, 
she was a little nervous when she did the reveal and she was like trying to apologize for it up front and well you know i know a lot of people aren't gonna like it well you know what fuck them if they don't like it i like it from what i've been able to tell on facebook a lot of people like it if some people don't well you know what not everybody has to like everything so fuck them so you don't worry don't worry yourself any about this there you go man that's heavy that's a heavy that's a hefty cob i can't wait to load this thing up look, look how deep that is can you see can you all see how deep that is that's like it that goes that's that deep that's that deep <laughs> that's a that's a general bowl yep all right oh there you go i'm gonna load it up here in a second uh i will get into the um giveaway real quick so i got a 3d printer and i was goofing around on the 3d printer and you know, there's only so many tchotchkes you can make. There's so many little figures or statues or figurines or miscellaneous bullshit you can make. Before you start wanting to start making useful stuff. So I threw together a little model for a cigar stand. So so here it is right here. So I made this little cigar stand. I, I made this, this model from scratch. It's not difficult. It was just a, an X and I extruded it out. But um, I used to have a little metal foldable cigar stand that folded out into an X. And I would set it I'd set it there and then I'd set my cigar, you know, lengthwise on top of it. And it was great. It was great when I didn't have an ashtray handy or something like that. Kept it off, off the ground if I wanted to set my cigar down for a minute. And I lost the damn thing. As you all probably noticed from my videos, I tend to lose shit. Um, pissed me off when I lost it. Well, you know what? Now I can make these. So I made this model. I made it. I uploaded it to one of the sharing sites. It got downloaded, I don't know, a dozen times or so. Uh, collected a couple times or so. But uh, uh, guess what my cigar buddies are getting this year for stocking stuffers. And then I decided, well, you know, I'm always losing pipe tampers. So made myself a pipe tamper. Okay. Now this one I, I spray painted uh, just because I, I kind of wanted to see how it would how the nickel spray paint I had would look. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll be making another one that I'm not going to spray paint. Um, but there it is. There's a little, little... Actually, it goes like this. This is the tamping end. This end's too big to go in the bowl. So see, you just tamp it in. It's, <laughs> after seeing this big-ass pipe that I just got, I was thinking I maybe made this too long. But, yeah, I'm thinking maybe not. I'm thinking maybe I did a good job. Um, so that's, that's the pipe tamper that I made. So... The giveaway that I'm going to do is I'm going to give away this right here, a cigar stand and a pipe tamper to, um, to uh, let's say the top three. Let's, let's say the top three. Three of y'all. I'll send out three. And um, what you got to do to enter the contest is you got to put a comment down there to the bottom. I'm not getting a lot of comments. So I got over 100 subscribers. I'm not getting a lot of comments. So you got to put a comment in the bottom. Put a comment on this episode. That's all you got to do. Now, what, what would be cool, if you're going to put a comment, tell me about how you found out about what, about my show. I mean, there's so many other more popular um, uh, pipers out there on YouTube. And uh, I'm just flattered that there's a hundred of y'all that subscribe to me. But I'd kind of like to know how y'all you know, found me. Um, and that's about it. Just put a comment down there. Um, I'll, I'll choose three at random, and if there's only three of y'all that comment, well, all three of you are winners. Um, put that comment down there, and, uh, uh, then I'll contact you and get your, uh, get your address and drop it in the mail to you. Um, I'll bet no other, uh, YouTube piper out there on YouTube land is giving away, uh, my home printed pipe tamper and cigar stand. So, in your face. Oh, yes, I like them all. But anyway, so that's it. So now, now to the important thing. Let's see how this, see how this smokes. So I'm still smoking up the last of that um, uh, sugar barrel match that I, I did uh, a follow up on last week. I think it was uh, that I that I did that or last episode. I don't know how long it's been since I did that. Oh my God, this holds a lot of tobacco. Holy crap. Um, so I'm, I'm smoking up the last of that. I've got just a tiny little bit left. Um, figured I might as well smoke it up, get rid of it. Uh, I'll probably shift over and smoke the, uh, I don't know, maybe the Revelation after that, or maybe something else, I don't know. So, 
it's, boy, that holds a lot of tobacco. Holy crap. Oh, where's my lighter? I get a maiden run for my pipe tamper today. Oh, holy shit. I just refilled my lighter and spilled a little bit on the outside and <laughs> damn near had crispy barbecue pipe maiden. You know, I should have checked to see if this has a filter. It does not good. Okay. I always take the filter out of my cobs. I don't know about anybody else, but I do. I don't like the filters in them. Where's my little skinny dog? Oh, there he is. He's sitting in the shade. Kind of hot here today. Oh, shit. I feel like Popeye with this pipe. Holy crap. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like it. I like the way it feels in my mouth. That feels good. In fact, uh, it's got some heft there. I can hold that pipe. And... All right. All right, y'all have heard me talk a couple times about this particular tobacco. So I'm not going to revisit it again other than say it holds up pretty well. Um, sugar barrel match from Pipe and Cigars. Um, holds up pretty well. I like it. Um, I probably should have opened up some burly something burly prince albert or um i'm not gonna mention it i'm not gonna mention the other one that you know i always mention i'm not gonna mention it but i should have opened up a burly blend like like prince albert or that other one uh, to test out the cob in because cobs and burly go together like peas and carrots but i'm gonna get smoke up the rest of this all right so So how y'all been? Been doing good? Um, running through a little bit of a hot spell here. We cooled down for a couple days. And it's back hot again. Hot and chew. Um, did I tell y'all that we're looking for a house? We're looking for a house down in Alabama. Um, looking about moving, uh, thinking about moving. I don't think I told y'all yet. Um, I think I was like trying not to say anything because uh, my wife hadn't told her best friend yet um, that we weren't looking at moving to Reno anymore. We're probably going to move down to Alabama. Uh, you've heard me talk about Dad on here um, and how much I enjoy that old man. Uh, well, Dad's got Alzheimer's. And um, my wife's brother has been taking the lion's share of uh, taking care of him. Look, you're out there using that new fancy schmancy pipe tamper on that new fancy schmancy cob of the year. Uh, you too could get one of these. Um... So uh, anyway, uh, her brother, he's, he's a good man. He is just, he's, I can't say enough good things about Jeffrey Haynes. He is just, he is just a good man. Um, impresses me. Um, moral, ethical, does the right thing when nobody's watching. Um, he's just a good man. Um, anyway, he, him, him and his wife have been taking the lion's share of taking care of dad since they're down there. Uh, they're, they live in uh, Georgia. Uh, pretty close to where Dad lives in Alabama. And um, my wife's retiring soon. And um, so we're looking at uh, moving down there. Uh, buying a place down there. Uh, found a place on, a lot of places on a lake down there. And Lord knows I love to fish. I love to fish. And the property's a lot cheaper down there. And the places we're looking at have their own private piers with boat slips and they're right literally right on the water and and they're like half the price of houses here in California and I can work anywhere I'm a consultant the company that I'm at uh, they uh, uh, they make no bones about it they're like you can work anywhere you want you can move anywhere you want you can work anywhere you want um, have at it uh, so take them at their word uh, so we, we've been looking at places uh, we narrowed down the list um, to about six, and uh, uh, Jeffrey has agreed to go and give him a once over, and uh, you know, see if there's anything that just you know jumps out at him, like oh god, no, don't buy this place, sort of thing. And uh, after he does that, then we'll fly down there and take a look ourselves, and um, see if any of them, you know, are the one, and uh, then decide what we're going to do from there. Uh, probably won't move down there till next year. 
so we might fix it up and rent it out you know it's a cabin on a lake you know or a house on a lake you know i'm sure we can put it on airbnb or whatever vrbo or whatever they call the other one um and you know rent it out um or not you know do whatever we need to do but uh that's in the plans now so probably going to be downsizing getting rid of a lot of a lot of crap here instead of moving it and um and down there so that's how my that's how things have been going here um close to wrapping up the contract that i'm on right now with this client and um possibly got some interesting things you know awaiting me as soon as this contract gets done uh i'm not leaving the, not leaving my company my consulting company but they they got some interesting challenges that that uh i might roll up my sleeves and take a whack at fair enough life continues to be interesting um, so here's a story about about this. So my wife, I still got a, got a thing on here. I'm quite sure what the hell is going on. Um, and this is get dark for everybody. Hmm. Yeah, let's try. I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Oh, sorry for goofing around with it. I promise I won't goof around with it anymore. Um, but anyway, so my wife, uh, she likes to do stuff like whitewater rafting. And um, she's gone several times. She's pretty experienced at it. And she decided she was going to go this weekend. And uh, didn't go so well. Uh, they had two Category 5 rapids that they went through. And uh, they got through the first one fine. And then right at the top of the second one, she got swept out of the, out of the boat. And so she basically swam that rapids from the top to the bottom and bouncing off rocks and damn near drowned herself. So she's in bed right now, uh, sleeping and resting. And um, she's, she's kind of beat up, sore, achy, as you imagine you would be, bouncing yourself off rocks all the way down a Category 5 rapid. Um, life continues to be interesting. So anyway, how about uh, how about y'all? You done anything interesting? Tell me what's going on in y'all's life. Um, how you doing? And uh, remember, uh, we got a giveaway going on. Don't forget to put a comment down there. Um, tell me, uh, tell me how you found me. Um, three of y'all, three y'all be getting a, a custom made pipe noob pipe tamper and cigar stand, uh, which you won't find anywhere else in the world except right here. And uh, other than that, I'm going to let y'all go. I guess it didn't end up being too much longer than normal. Um, having a great weekend. Watching my little fat dog, my little skinny dog, and sitting outside smoking a pipe and drinking a soda. Um, y'all have a great weekend, YouTube. Take care.